Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and today we have an orchid mystery. I got home from work today and the bud from the what I thought was a keiki on my Phalaenopsis KS Happy Eagle crossed with Princess Kaolani had opened and um, you can see what my shock was about. <laughs> So, so far I got this orchid from Orchid Garden, just to give you a bit of the backstory to the mystery. And so far it has only bloomed from one of the plants in this pot. So I got it from Orchid Garden, it had spikes on both, I unpotted it and repotted it straight away. My initial reaction in that unboxing video was it's two plants in one pot. When I unpotted it, I tried to separate them thinking there were two plants and couldn't. And this led me to the conclusion that it was a keiki. Let's get in here and have a look. So my initial thoughts were that this was a keiki after a repotting and I tried to separate these plants and I literally couldn't. I, I tried pulling them apart and they just wouldn't come apart. So I didn't push it anymore. I just thought it was a cakey. Um, and then this has happened. So without unpotting and really doing a thorough investigation, I have no way of knowing whether this is a cakey. I've done some research and is the chance that the cakey underwent a mutation while it was developing, which can mean that occasionally keikis, although technically clones of the mother plant, can flower differently and have slightly different genetics to the mother plant. Now this is very, very rare. So the more likely and more common explanation is we have two plants in one pot that were planted together as seedlings and the root systems have just kind of merged and intertwined. Um, we do have one plant that's bigger than the other one though. So, this spike is coming from this plant here and the spikes that have been flowering so far are coming from this plant. Without actually unpotting it, I'm not gonna be able to solve this and just trying to rip it apart and seeing whether it actually comes apart or um, it was joined at the stem and potentially I might end up ripping that apart anyway. Uh, I don't definitely want to do that while it's flowering. For now, I think we're going to leave it as a mystery to be solved another day. But yeah, um, I just thought it was really interesting and we will have to follow up on this another time to try and investigate. Try and lift this up a bit. You really can't tell from just looking at the stem. Like it, it looks like it's joined. I don't know. Um, interesting one. Um, but it's certainly not what I was expecting from the second flowering. So uh, if this is two plants in one pot, maybe the seedling is the same variety. Uh, it's a completely different flower shape, but you know, seedling variation. I definitely prefer this flower to this one. If it's, for example, a different seedling that has been put in there, then I don't know what this is, or I don't know what this is, which one's the original cross, if any. Um, it kind of throws a little bit of doubt onto that. They are extremely different shapes, but I mean, it really does look joined at the stem, but as I said, if they were put in together as two young plants, that could happen where their roots intertwine so much that we can't actually tell where the stem one stem ends and another begins, but it really wasn't. I think because I made the assumption it was a keiki after trying to pull it apart and it didn't come apart, maybe that biased my um, my view on it, so I didn't probe any further. Uh, so I'm gonna have to unpot this and have a really good look at what is going on in there. Obviously, while flowering, I'm gonna leave this and just enjoy the two very beautiful, if for very different, blooms. Um, but yeah, this is interesting, isn't it guys? Uh, what are your thoughts on this? Um, any orchid biologists out there know if this is a possibility that they are the same plant and 
a mutation has occurred in the genetics while the keiki was forming that meant it's flowered differently? Or are they separate plants that have just grown into each other? As you know, keikis are supposed to be clones of the mother plant. Basically, I don't know what's going on here. I was fully under the impression this was a keiki. This has made me completely reassess my opinion and I will investigate further. But this is the only thing that made me think it wasn't a keiki and that maybe somewhere under there there's two separate plants. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not going to investigate any further. We're going to wait for the blooms to finish and then we're going to unpot and investigate this guy. Uh, both are beautiful blooms though, aren't they? It's a really interesting contrast and having them in the same pot they definitely look quite pretty let me know what you think down below guys and thank you so much for watching this short video today on my interesting orchid discovery if you enjoyed this video and want to see more from me then give this a like or subscribe to my channel for more regular orchid updates and i will see you guys later bye